guys. So a couple new sets that I'm really excited about. Uh, I've been working on these for for quite a while now. I don't know about you, but um, I get a lot of random encounters in the wilderness, um, overnight encounters while while the PCs are camping, and I'll have delays in my game while I'm searching around trying to find a map you know that that suits the area. So this this set is is really cool for that. I'm um, excited to have this so that I can just drop down maps uh, for any kind of scene that almost anything you can imagine in as a woodland scene is in this set. So to start off I'm going to show you the uh, the woodland map and tile set that is in the bundle and this one has some 15 by 15 map tiles and these are on seamless backgrounds which means that they will connect directly to one another. Uh, as a matter of fact some of these have features like roads and anything that has like it'll require a road to connect are real easy to find you just look for anything that has it in parentheses so for example now this one says river and road so because of that change this map up here to a river piece and there are literally hundreds uh, if not thousands of combinations that you can create with four 15 by 15 maps uh, creating 30 by 30 maps There's also five maps that come with the set. One of them is actually a really cool uh, camp scene. And these maps are all, all have uh, the jukebox enabled for, for sound effects, ambient sound. and also have some really cool uh, dynamic lighting to give the scene that more you know that, that forest appearance to it uh, which makes it really easy to hide brigands bandits goblins and whatever else you can imagine off in the woods somewhere just waiting to ambush your PCs show you another scene this would be the uh, the bridge waterfall scene And again with dynamic lighting. And so there you have it. That's the map and tile set. Uh, I hope that you'll get lots and lots of use out of this for years to come generating all kinds of special encounter locations and also handling those tricky random encounters that arise. So the other set is going to be our map feature set. And this set includes the seamless background piece and it's a 15 by 15 so that you can connect these together and you can create literally any size map that you want with them. And it's not shown here in, in mine, but the assets that you will get all have the recommended dimensions. So for example, this, this tree here would actually have a uh, say six by six next to it. indicating that the recommended size for a five foot per square would be six by six units. And of course if you're using ten by ten you can half that or you know just adjust it to whatever to whatever size map, uh, whatever increments you're using. And there are a lot of cool little bonus pieces in this set such as uh, spike pits, regular pits, hunting traps, uh, a standing stone for like 
telling PCs uh, road crossings, telling them the distance from one town to another town. Also a uh, canoe. Now I do recommend with these that if you're going to do large maps, like larger than 2x2 two two, or you're going to have a lot of uh, images in it, PNG so files can be very demanding and slow your machine down or, or uh, can slow down the performance for your players. So I'd recommend that with those that you load them up in, uh, load the assets up in like GIMP or Photoshop and put your maps together there and then save them as a single JPEG and upload them back to Roll20 and things will probably, you'll get much better performance that way. So anyways, there's a lot you can do with these. Um, these pretty much cover just about anything that you could come across while your PCs are exploring wilderness scenes. So have fun, I hope you enjoy it. And again, uh, show your support for us uh, so that we can continue you know creating assets and such and subscribe to our, our channel so that you get alerts letting you know when we have new sets come up and definitely give this this video a like thanks guys